great is our God. How great is our God. Sing with me, how great is our God. And all will see how great, how great is our God. How great is our God. Sing with me, how great is our God. And all will see how great. and prayers that us all for everything into the heart of Jesus and our Lord Jesus Christ will give peace and joy for our needs and intentions. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, let us humbly acknowledge all our failures and ask pardon to the merciful God so that we will be able to celebrate this Holy Eucharist in a worthy manner and receive his blessings and mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray, at all times go before us and follow after, and make us always determined to carry out good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, now the righteousness of God has been manifested apart from the law, though testified to by the law and the prophets, the righteousness of God through faith in Jesus Christ for all who believe. For there is no distinction. All have sinned and are deprived of the glory of God. They are justified freely by his grace through the redemption in Christ Jesus, whom God set forth as an expiation through faith by his blood to prove his righteousness because of the forgiveness of sins previously committed, through the forbearance of God to prove his righteousness in the present time that he might be righteous and justify the one who has faith in Jesus. What occasion is there then for boasting? It is ruled out. On what principle that of works? No, 
rather on the principle of faith. For we consider that a person is justified by faith apart from works of the law. Does God belong to Jews alone? Does he not belong to Gentiles too? Yes, also to Gentiles. For God is one and will justify the circumcised on the basis of faith and the uncircumcised through faith. The word of the Lord. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to my voice with supplication. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, Lord, who can stand? But with you is forgiveness that you may be revered. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. I trust in the Lord. My soul trusts in his word. My soul waits for the Lord more than sentinels wait for the dawn. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. The Lord said, What to you who build the memorials of the prophets whom your fathers killed? Consequently, you bear witness and give consent to the deeds of your ancestors for they killed them, and you do the building. Therefore, the wisdom of God said, I will send to them prophets and apostles. Some of them they will kill and persecute, in order that this generation might be charged with the blood of all the prophets shed since the foundation of the world, from the blood of Abel to the blood of Zachariah who died between the altar and the temple building. Yes, I tell you, this generation will be charged with their blood. What to you, scholars of the law? You have taken away the key of knowledge. You yourselves did not enter, and you stopped those trying to enter. When Jesus left, the scribes and Pharisees began to act with hostility towards him and to integrate him about many things, for they were plotting to catch him at something he might say. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, in Jesus Christ. 
there is a saying a bad person is worse when he pretends to be a saint a bad person is worse when he pretends to be a saint that is what we see in today's gospel the hypocrisy of the pharisees and scribes jesus accused them because because of their hypocrisy and false zeal or love towards the prophets who were killed by their their fathers or ancestors the prophets are sent by god and they who came to speak for god to welcome them to god's providence to prepare their hearts to welcome god welcome jesus but they were not ready to follow the prophets they were not ready to accept the words of prophets and they killed the prophets but now their children pretend as a good person or they show their hypocrisy and false love towards the prophets and they build memorials or monuments for them god who knows the heart of the people says that they are hypocrites for the people they may be good persons they may be doing the the acts of the acts of god but jesus who knows the heart jesus who knows our thinking realize their hypocrisy dear brothers and sisters they are not faithful or genuine because they made memorials or on monuments for the prophets whom their ancestors denied at the same time the present prophets including jesus were denied by them they were not ready to accept the present prophets or jesus who was sent by our god to save them but they pretend like good people by venerating or accepting the prophets who were killed by their ancestors that is the hypocrisy of the pharisees and scribes secondly we see jesus accused the lowest telling that you have taken away the key of knowledge the prophets the the sorry the lawyers <coughs> has to prepare the people to welcome jesus they have to explain the law the signs to the people clearly but these people these lawyers they they become they they has taken away the key of knowledge from the people they taught the people wrong teachings dear brothers and sisters now it's our responsibility our duty to teach others to welcome to prepare people to welcome jesus and if you are not doing that or if you become a scandal for others we too may be accused by our lord like the pharisees and scribes we the children of god who became that sons and daughters of god by our baptism that we have the responsibility to prepare the hearts of the people to welcome jesus it says 
action speaks louder than words though we are not preaching for them but through our good works through our examples through our presence the people should experience the loving presence of jesus through our love forgiveness kindness compassion that we prepare the people to welcome jesus let us ask god's grace always that we should not be accused by jesus for not do, for not doing our responsibilities that god will help us to bring people to jesus and bring jesus to people through our good works let us ask always our lord to help us we need his help we need his grace to become a true disciples to followers of jesus may almighty god bless you in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen knowing god who knows our needs and deepest longings with confidence we pray lord hear our prayer that pope francis and all ministers of the world and sacrament be people of true conversion and speak with prophetic voice we pray to the lord that all leaders of nations be people of true dedication to the good of all humanity and not only their local interests we pray to the lord lord that the members of this community recognize the gifts they have received and follow the holy spirit and feed the hungry of heart we pray to the lord lord that those who need shelter food or support find what they need in our generosity we pray to the lord lord we pray for all the souls in purgatory whom how no one to pray we pray to the lord lord now let us offer all our personal intents and prayers in the heart of jesus we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer loving god source of all good gifts we praise you and thank you for your blessings here are prayers which we make through christ our lord amen, amen. Bless our Lord God of all creation for the goodness we have received the bread we offer you food of the earth and work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life bless our God Bless our you Lord God of all creation for through goodness we have received the wine we offer you for the wine and work of human hands it will become our spiritual drink bless and be God with humble spirit and humble heart we accept our sacrifice and listen to you Lord God wash our my iniquities and cleanse my sins Pray, brethren, 
that my sacrifice and events may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, the praise of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings, that through these acts of devoutness we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you so loved the world that in your mercy you send us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you have loved in your Son by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in obedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and ended willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death. Thank you. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and bread of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Robert our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her holy spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be hoist to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to you, Apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that should enter my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. May Almighty God bless you. 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 The body of Christ. May Almighty God bless you. 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 The body of Christ. May Almighty God bless you. 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 The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. May Almighty God bless you. The body of Christ. 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 May Almighty God bless you. The body of Christ. 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 The body of Christ.
let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Holy Mass is offered. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. Have a blessed day. We in Mass in our Make a Draw for Noise hymnals on page 52. Jesus is the answer. Jesus is the answer for the world today.